Jeremy, thank you. The weather across the region is absolutely perfect, including here in Johnson City, which is the largest of the three of the Tri-Cities. There's always something to do on any given day, whether it's outdoor activity, an event, a festival, you name it. And here to name even more that's going on, Brenda Woodson with Visit Johnson City. Brenda, tell me a little bit about everything you have going on. I understand there's a big move coming up this week for you guys. Yes, there actually there is. Um, we will be hosting the grand opening of our brand new visitor center uh, later on in November. So we're really excited to uh, open the city's first ever visitor center. And I'm sure if you're going downtown, you've seen it. You know exactly where it is. For people who don't, go ahead and tell me about it in the history of the building that it's in. We are located in the historic CCNO train depot, which is known um, all over uh, the city as the place where the city started, if you will. And the building was built in 1905, so it was actually a freight railroad. And so the building is still intact as it was, you know, in 1905. And uh, we're directly across from Yeehaw, where you will be this afternoon. Yes. So we're in a great place that we can welcome visitors and welcome locals in to give them information and then send them out to spend money. And the location is so fitting. I mean, it's where Johnson City started and it's where Johnson City is happening right now. And there's so much happening in Johnson City. We talked a little bit before we got on camera about Tannery Knobs, something I only thought was just for bikers, but you tell me it is far different. Absolutely. Uh, the, there is a misnomer that Tannery Knobs is only for bikers. Think about going up there with your family or, you know, if you want an outing where you just go and look at the beauty of the place that we get to live drive up there. There are benches up there. You can take a picnic and sit up there on the bench and see how beautiful this place is that we get to live. It would be an optimum place to go and look at the leaves. When I moved here, I just remember driving down state of Franklin towards the mountains. You see we're just tucked in this beautiful little valley. It is just stunning here in this region. What do you think stands out to people either who just first moved to the region or are thinking about visiting? I think what stands out is that Johnson City is the place where you can get a 360 view of the mountains. Anywhere you are, no matter where you turn, the mountains are there and they're kind of embracing you. And I think the people and the hospitality of this community is so friendly that people kind of are, it's unexpected. And then they're totally surprised and they love the fact that there's so much to do and so many local restaurants and places to go. And we play off those mountains when it comes to events and festivals here in the region. I mean, when it comes to people visiting, what do you say is the best thing to do in Johnson City? I think it depends on, on the, the people, what their interest is. If they have families, then there's a, a whole track that they can do from going out to Hands-On Discovery Center to so many of going to Bright Zoo. And of course, you know, the uh, there's things like that Quantum Leap and a, a variety of places. The other part of that is that if you want to do just a weekend getaway, you know, with your significant other, you can come in and choose great places for dining, go into downtown, experience the nightlife, walk through Founders Park, look at the art, and go on the mural trail. Yeah, the city has grown so much, and the art is absolutely stunning. It actually changes frequently in Founders Park in downtown, so you'll want to check that out. Brenda, thank you so much. We're excited for everything Johnson City has in store, and we will continue highlighting Johnson City as we continue celebrating 70 years of News Channel 11. We'll be right back.